Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome back to Queen Cup Tarot. I am just shuffling up right now, getting ready to do something different for you guys. Um, I'm going to start doing, or when I can, some mid-monthly check-ins. And these are going to be shorter readings. This is going to be the format of them and what it will look like. Um, for those that are new, I do monthly readings. They're extended. Um, you'll see those already posted there. All of the ones for May are already there. So you can check that out. But this is just a short 20-25 uh, minute reading tops just to check in to see what's going on until May. Okay, guys? Um, so for those that are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. And for those that are returning, thank you so much. Your support of this channel means everything, everything, everything to me. And um, thank you. Cancer Gang runs really strong. As I told you guys, I've got a lot of water in my chart. Um, so I fucks with you, and I'm glad you fucks with me back, okay? Um, all right, guys. Uh, I'm not going to do a bunch of announcements or things like that in these ones, or I'll still get too long. Um, but anything in the description, uh, anything that I'm doing with regards to a charity or my mom's run, or um, soon I'll have these frankincense bottled, labeled, and ready to ship. So I'll, let, I'll always have that in the description going forward. Um, but you can always look there for any information or how to contact me for a personal reading, okay? Which is queencuptarot at gmail.com. All right, my lovelies, my little Krabby Patties. All right, let's go into prayer, okay? Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors and guardian angels, thank you for rising me up out of my bed this morning and thank you for connecting me with the collective every day. Right now in particular, thank you for connecting me with the sign of cancer. Please allow me to communicate to them the messages that are in their greatest good, surrounding their material abundance, sustenance, the relationships closest to them, the personal ascension and development, and any other messages you deem worthy at this time. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, and guardian angels for everything that you do for the collective. We need you. We love you. Thank you. Amen. Right. Let's get into it, guys. It's going to be a five-card spread. The um, monthly readings that are about an hour, those are a nine-card. Okay? We'll still use Oracle from the, sh uh, the Shaman's Oracle and Clarifiers, okay, with the Everyday Tarot. All right, your overall reading, mid-May, you've got the Three of Earth. Um, this is collaboration. This is working together, okay? Um, this is coming together. This is also reflective of springtime, summertime, like pollination, honey, all that shit, whatever. Um, so this is creating something, building something, essentially, with the effort of someone or other people, okay? Um, this could even be a family dynamic coming together as a family, you know, maybe a parent and your two parents and you, or a parent and you and a sibling, whatever, but this is a, a collaborative effort, um, building something with people. And if this is your own energies, this is building something that you'll eventually want to bring people into, Okay. Um, either way, first card out, you've got the Father of Air. Um, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Libra, <clears throat> air energy. Um, swords in the traditional tarot. Um, this is the contemplation, the weighing of the pros and cons at a very high level in order to make a decision you probably won't have to back out on or you probably won't ha regret or have to renege on. Okay, this is decisions needing to be made at a high level, um, using the tact and the resources available to you from all the uh, data you acquired as a page in a night, um, and and the decisions and the, the 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 clearing you had to do as a queen, and now final contemplation to make final judgments. Okay, um, this could also be reflective of like an official person, so like a doctor, lawyer, uh, judge, um, you know, something of those natures, right? Either way, though, this is energy, like cerebral, cerebral thought, communications energy, okay? Second card out, you've got the Four of Earth, nice. Um, stabilizing, making decisions with regards to your stability. Um, maybe, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's making decisions with regards to whether you want to give or receive from something and you're contemplating. Really, you're, ultimately what I'm seeing here is contemplating with this three of earth. This is contemplating whether or not you want to be part of something, <laughs> long and short. Whether it's somebody came to you with a project, investment opportunity, an idea, maybe even just a trip, you know, or anything. 
and you contemplating whether or not that's something you want to do. So you're not giving or receiving anything. You haven't accepted or declined the invite or the opportunity or whatever, right? Third card out, you've got judgment. There's that decision. So you've got the contemplating, right? You've got the contemplating, not giving, not receiving while you're doing that. You're weighing the pros and the cons. And then that final decision is made. Okay, let's see what this is pertaining to. And again, I really believe that it has to do with this collaborative effort, whether you want to accept a, a job opportunity, a project, um, you know, merging lives with somebody. I don't know, right? It's very practical. This is all pentacles, um, air and fire right now. Uh, judgment is uh, this triangle is the alchemical sign for fire. Um, number two, two, 20. Um, that's like two tens. I'm seeing two tens. I'm also like completing or wrapping up karmic cycles in two different areas, which is why there might be such heavy contemplation about investment. It's almost like you want to make sure you don't make the same mistakes, but also you have, you know, there's certain investments that need to be made in order to build on this four and go up from there. But after the four is the five. So the reason why there's heavy contemplation here is because there's a risk of being left out in the cold or kind of experiencing some financial hardship. There's a risk. Okay. Second, well, I mean, fourth card out again. Okay. So there's that five. I said the five of pentacles, but the five of fire comes out. So there's a risk of conflict. Um, competition, um, it all crashing and fucking burning pretty much if you look at the picture. So this father of air, regardless of the sign, you know, cancers, it's looking like you're taking this energy, right? Where you're really looking at it's almost like there's a sense of self-worth that this father of air has gained throughout years of understanding and knows that anything it invests in to is a big deal, but also anything you receive from somebody, it's a gift to them to receive, to be received, just as it is for them to get something from you if that makes any sense. Now, for those of you that make a decision, we'll get clarification. If you make a decision to not invest in something, it can cause some conflict with the other people that are involved. Because the five, if it's not internal conflict, this external conflict um, usually involves multiple people, you know, depending on surrounding cards. But with this here, there's multiple people involved in whatever decision that you're having to make. And there's some risk associated with this cancer because you want to avoid conflict because there's a certain level of stability that you have acquired. But this, whatever it is you're contemplating might jeopardize that stability. So the judgment, this decision you make is heavy in order to avoid conflict. But it's funny at the same time, this whole decision making process is bringing up a lot of internal conflict in you that needs to be purged up and washed away in order to get into divine masculine or feminine energy, which is the next step after the king, right? So, um, wow, last card out is victory. What, that's dope. Wow, that is sick. Totally, totally overcoming any kind of conflict it's like you knowing your self-worth and the stability that you've created yourself really helped you navigate any offers you were giving or, or any offers you were giving or receiving, making a decision to receive or give or invest in some kind of way, knowing that whatever conflict was to arise, you would get past successfully, which is, looks like exactly what happens. Huh. What a cool reading. Ooh. Okay, I want clarification though. I want clarification though. Guys, let me know what you guys think about these mid-monthlies. They're very different. Mind you, it's a bit hard for me to do them shorter. You know, I can sit and run my mouth for two hours till I'm caught in mouth reading your whole life. So doing this is a bit of a challenge, but I wanted to see how it would work. So guys, let me know your thoughts about these short readings, okay? We'll get some clarification here. I want to know, I want to know. 
What is Cancer contemplating and having to make a decision about? It's like, you know why there's victory is because you've gotten to this stage. And with Major Arcana surrounding this decision, it's like, you know the weight, you know karmically what this is, even if exterior-wise nobody understands how heavy this decision-making process is for you. Why you're so careful about proceeding. They don't know the world of knowledge that you have inside of you after everything you've went through in the sword suit. So you now can trust what it is you know. You can trust your decision-making process. Why? Because it's already given you stability. It's You've already survived. You've already reached a certain level of comfort within yourself, right? That allows you to be sure. I mean... Whether this, we'll see. Okay, Father God, Holy Spirit, Ancestors, can I get clarification on this Four of Earth? Okay, can I get clarification on the judgment? What's this decision? Spirit's like, why would you miss... Spirit's like, why would you pass the Father of Air? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Father Air. Please, Father God, Holy Spirit, and says, can we clarify the Father Air? What's he contemplating? What's going on? <laughs> the Queen of Cups. So, guys, I was looking at you as the Father of Air this time, okay, and with regards to a decision that... Um, you need to make um, surrounding whether work or relationship, because I, I can't tell. It's pentacles, it's 3D. Work, relationship, that all happens in the 3D. Um, <clears throat> but it's looking like, yes, this, this could be somebody else, because there's masculine, feminine energy here, just obviously with the pictures being depicted here. But if this is staying true to just you, Cancer, you being in this, it's you're not using any emotions to make the decisions and the judgments that you have to at this time. And I'll be honest, if it was any other sign, I would say this is a big problem, but you guys live your heart. It's impossible for you to proceed heartless. So it's like being un, like emotionally closed off this way and in this energy doesn't bother me. Why also? Because this energy gets you the victory. You overcome conflict and get the victory by going in your head and being a little more logical, looking at everything you've experienced, because what is what is being proposed to you, what you're contemplating, you've kind of seen before. That's what I'm seeing by the smirk. There's a sense of familiarity. Um, and it's like, I think... The, the issue when you were a page or a knight or even a queen was or, or more of a page or a knight was was your queen your your emotions shit ah. sorry guys I dropped something I didn't really want to drop sorry <laughs> I think I just showed my whole fucking ass crack too what a mess sorry Thora man <sighs> okay Get away from there. Don't touch that. It's okay. I'll clean it up after. Yeah, I, I think that you were not, you were overly emotional and it's funny. It was like a cup just dropped. <laughs> it was like more my ashtray, which I'm very disappointed about, but <laughs> um, <laughs> what a shit show. <laughs> but we're here. Um, long and short, guys, I don't mind this. If there's a side, if there's any sign that can work, can deal, or can you can benefit from being a little emotionally closed off from time to time, it's the Cancerian. But being emotionally closed off, in a way, it's like it's transferring. It's not spiteful. It's not broken. It's deciding to use one more than the other. It's tactful. This is a karmic cycle coming to a close, getting to this level. It's, it's actually really impressive, um, Cancer, and, and like I said, I wouldn't suggest everyone go and fucking, you know, shut themselves down emotionally and be this, this practical, 
But with all these pentacles and conflict, you have to. You've come too far. This isn't a time to be emotional is what this is telling me. This is a time to be practical and make practical decisions and invest your time properly so that you can double up and make sure that the decisions you make a reflection of who you truly are, not who, not the broken person you walk around thinking you are. Because that shit's for the birds, it's over. You are actually fully intact. All right, And I think that understanding and awareness, it's like you always knew you would overcome this conflict and gain this victory. It was just a process you knew you had to live out. So karmically, I see um, another karmic cycle for cancer is really coming to, coming out of being left out in the cold. Really, I think this is just understanding that this is impossible for you at this stage of the game. Fantastic. Okay. Can we get clarification on this judgment and this conflict? Judgment and conflict. Got the Knight of Wands, Eight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Wow. In reverse. This is fucking amazing. Wow. That's why there's all of this pentacles. Um, I don't know why I'm seeing all these pentacles. It's all this fire. I get it. So, Cancerians, you gained a certain level of stability for yourself. Okay? Regardless of how small, I don't care. This is a big, I'm getting the energy, this is a big deal. And... I feel like, and then, like I said, at the bottom, I don't know if we had it yet. I showed you. There it is. It's right here at the top again. The five of pentacles in reverse. So you, 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 you don't get left out in the cold. Whatever fears that you have that you're holding on to about giving and receiving, they're just fears. I think you're understanding that this, like I said, is an optical illusion. You can't really be left out in the cold. You've come too far. You've learned too much. You know what I'm saying? And it's like now with this Knight of Wands, it's like you're turning your attention to from you're walking away from what's fleeting. Because I'm getting the impression what you're walking away from was more immediate gratification. You would invest yourself in what looked pretty in the moment or you would take action in what drove your passion uh at the moment. That's what fire energy is, is they're, they're very passionate, but they'll go where the passion is and that's where they'll stay. That's why they can out. That's why they won't stay somewhere very long. Um, or they can be like that. Either way, it's like walking away from a less stable energy, not to say fire steins are not stable guys. You have all of this in your chart. Okay. I'm just saying the energies you're walking away from are less stable. I don't even like, you understand? And I think it was more reflective of how you used to live in the past with this night looking in the past and walking away to a more stable energy, which better reflects your future, which is a little less in and out, deceptive, you know, unreliable. This is more reliable because it's honest, right? So it's like you're moving away from instability to stability and the decisions that you're making between, you know, <clears throat> now and June or whatever time is fluid are from this more stable place now, right? Because we've got stability and the father. So your contemplation, it does it, that's why emotions aren't needed for cancer in this time. You need to practically evaluate the stability that you've acquired and know that that's the direction you want to move going forward. You don't even want to give up the little bit that you have to move back maybe for some kind of temptation or some immediate gratification or passion of some kind. It's like, I don't care about passion right now. That's why probably my emotions aren't involved. Cause I think the, the queen of cups would be more, it's immediate gratification. Um, but now it's like, no, it's more practical, logical and stable. This is also stabilizing your mind. And the best way for cancer to stabilize their mind or at least learn how to is sometimes to shut off their emotions. And that's why I said I don't feel bad about this. Why? Because I think it actually fucking works. And you actually end up taking and moving and walking away 
from something that's more stable, something you can see and touch, not just some feeling. Because like I said, with the eight, it's walking away from feelings and emotions that were invested in something that I don't think was invested in you. And then you walk away to some more stable energy that's more honest. Why? Because you start to appreciate the stability that you created in your life and then realize that the decisions that you make have to honor that. I think you're also shutting off your emotions to deal with the conflict that you know is going to come from any decisions that you make, period. But it doesn't even matter because victory is on the mind and you can see it and that's why you're smiling. <laughs> you know that after all of this, there's this. <laughs> Fucking love it, okay? Let's pull from the Shaman Oracle before we wrap up this spread. Beautiful reading, guys. Really beautiful reading. You know, don't be afraid. You, the, it, they're queen, the Queen of Cups and you will not die. It's impossible, guys. That part of you is who you are, okay? Go try to drain the Atlantic Ocean. No, it's always meant to have water, okay? Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> don't be afraid to shut this down a little bit. You're not shutting it down. You're just functioning from a different place. Divine feminine, divine masculine have all four kings. Kings, queen, whatever. It's like you can move from these energies. You can be them all. It's letting your minds function from all places. You know? But right now I see cancers functioning from a cerebral place because they're looking to practically manifest things here and their emotions weren't doing that for them. It's their practical approach to their experience and how they're analyzing it and making sure that the decisions that they make are for the long-term best interest victory. It's fucking victorious. Guys, Cancerians have amazing energy surrounding them at this time. Oh, yes, yeah, Spirit of Initiation, guys. I'm going to read this out of the book and then wrap up your reading, okay? Spirit of Initiation. Yes, Thor, you're next. Spirit of Initiation. There. Okay, these are all, um, this book is inspired by cave drawings throughout the world. Really helped me get in tune with my ancestors and that energy and... and it really actually helped me unlock some of my DNA memory. It's a really awesome deck, yeah. Anyway, I am the spirit of initiation. With me at your side, you will begin to understand the mysteries and wonders that surround us all at every moment of our lives. I may initiate you into many new experiences, but above all, I can show you how to find truth and wisdom, which will help you to overcome most of the problems that may beset you. This is a point beyond which all who seek the path of enlightenment must travel, and this can show you whenever you are ready. And this I can show you whenever you are ready. Okay. Um, this initiation is this, uh, it's like, this is what the energies are supporting you, trying to show you the truth so that you can make the decisions that are honest lawful to your religion that you believe inside yourself and your dna and we all have it we all have that same religion we just communicate it differently it's the universal law it's god it's prime source um earthing guys i see some of you needing to do some earthing that literally means like standing in grass and sitting in grass and shit to help stabilize you if you find that it's hard to get into this energy and you're struggling to get out of being in your emotions, you know, um, do some earthing because I think grounding you will allow your the cerebral part of you to come up because you've gained so much knowledge out of your emotional experiences that you need to be able to tap into. But you do that when you come out of your heart chakra a little bit and move into your head. And then once you go into your head and be cerebral, you can tap into the data in your heart chakra at any time. If there's any cancer that, if there's any sign that can, it's cancerians. But it's like, right now you're in contemplation. So figure it out. Figure it out. Just know that whatever conflict you're faced with, victory is right on the other side of it, period. 
period. That's the end statement for you guys, okay? Going into June. So you are literally going into June like this. <laughs> Love it. Okay, guys, um, that's your mid-month. Let me know what you guys think about it. Like, share, subscribe. Email me if you want a personal reading. And I love you guys. Until I see you next time. Ciao.